Wrangler 4xe fans. Got a really cool thing to show you this morning. Uh, this actually got me excited because I've never been able to simulate this in, in the real world when you actually should get the electric mode unavailable cabin cooling or heating message. And uh, this is when you actually have a good electric coolant heater. That message, I mean, that message is in there for a reason. It is a legit message. And here's when it actually plays out. As you can see, I'm actually in electric mode right now. I'm in electric there, I'm in electric down there, and my tack is not running, right? So let me go over here and let me turn my defrost on. And what should happen is I get an electric mode unavailable cabin cooling or heating message as a result. And uh, it goes into hybrid mode. Now, for some reason, the engine isn't starting this time. It did it just a little bit ago. So it's kind of comical the way it's playing out. But there it goes. There's the engine. So I just wanted to show that there is actually a time that that message is absolutely right. It's 22 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. I can't convert in my head, but it's cold. And um, you can see it's staying in hybrid mode. And uh, if I go and try to push electric mode right now, it's going to give me that message. And it's all based on me having the defrost on. If I go over here and turn it back to like just the regular heat and now come over here and push the electric button, you can see it will go back into electric mode. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing this a lot, you know, starting to stop in the engine and short run like that uh, in this temperature because uh, the, you know, that could trigger your form parameters if you do that a whole lot. But I'll do that for the sake of this video because I wanted to demonstrate an actual proper situation when the um, electric mode unavailable cabin cooling and heating message is actually legit. And uh, if you've had that bad coolant heater or if you're in the middle of that where you cannot get it out of that state where it just constantly throws that message up that could be indicative of a bad coolant heater because the system knows it's not available and the system knows it needs the heater core from the gas engine to uh, to warm the battery and to warm the cabin. So just wanted to share that. I was actually finally able to simulate that and it got me all excited. Thanks for watching.